This is Jordan Smith, and you're watching Celeb Secrets for You. So let's talk about your performance this week. How do you feel it when? How do you feel overall? And is there anything you want to change? You know, um, going into my performance this week, I've had a lot of vocal fatigue just happening, just because we sing so much on the show and we're so busy and we're constantly going. And and um, it's it's really it's really a necessary thing to take care of yourself physically and to make sure you don't get sick. And so I've just had a lot of tired vocals this week. And um, so going in, it was a little bit of a challenge because this is a huge song. You know, Jessie J is like powerhouse. Her range is like from the floor to the ceiling. Like she's ridiculous. And so um, going in, there was a lot of pressure to like live up to that. And um, honestly, when I was standing on stage, I just felt like I didn't feel my voice was 100% there. I felt like I was like 90, 95 to 98%. And I just thought, you know, like if I'm if I'm gonna be afraid to just go for it and to to sing my heart out on a song that's proclaiming just be who you are and don't be afraid and it's okay not to be okay and it's okay not to be perfect, you know. If I can't do that, then really, what am I singing about? So um, I'm I'm really happy with how the performance turned out. Do I think everything was perfect? No, by any means. I know that there were lots of things about the performance that weren't perfect. But for me, that's what made the performance so much better and so much more rewarding and fulfilling and freeing that it wasn't perfect and I was able to just show like it's okay sometimes not to be perfect anyway. And your family got to visit this week. How was that? Was it intimidating? Was it more like a stress reliever? <laughs> um, yeah, my family did get to be here this week and my mom got to come to rehearsal with me and she got to sit next to Adam, which she would tell you all about because she freaked out. But, um, you know, it was so nice to have her here. Growing up, she made so many sacrifices, you know, for me and my brothers to have the opportunities that we've had. And, and for me to have opportunities like this one and be here, you know, I wouldn't be here without her and, and her influence in my life musically and just as my mother. And so it was really cool for me to have her here and kind of show my appreciation to her and let her experience just a little part of this, you know, huge thing in my life right now. Um, it, was, it was just kind of like a thank you. Um, and I think she really enjoyed it. It was it was a stress reliever to have her here and have her in rehearsal just as a comforting, calming presence. What's the best advice she's giving you about the competition? Um, the best advice about the competition, I think, um, it sounds so intense, but <laughs> she just, you know, always cautions me and reminds me just to be true to myself. And I know that, like, so much happens in the competition. Your look changes and all these things and you learn so much about yourself and, and that she's all for me learning and growing and, and I am too, but she also wants me to remain true to myself and to my heart and, and you know, to hold firm to what I believe in. And so she's always just told me, you know, go for your dreams, don't stop, keep, keep moving forward and keep doing your best, but all the while remind yourself, you know, why you're doing it. And I think that that's the greatest advice that any parent could give their child. And I personally think you have a lot of soul. You're going to go a far, <laughs> far along. Um, but who do you think is your biggest competitor at the moment? Um, you know, it's so strange. At this point of the competition, we have to, like, remind ourselves that it's a competition. We often forget just because we've grown so close. And at this point, it's more about making good experiences and having good performances than it is about winning. But, um, you know, I think that... There are lots of great singers, and I look for Amy to be in the finale. I look for Barrett to be in the finale. But honestly, I think anyone here at this point deserves to win the show. And I think it's just a matter of America's preferences and what happens from here moving forward. But I would be happy and proud of any person that won the show, and I would just be standing right on the sidelines cheering them on if they did.